It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Wednesday, the 13th of April. I'm Michael Groff. Some parts of the country experiencing severe weather, others are in the deep freeze, but around here, a chamber of commerce sort of day. Gorgeous weather ahead. Temperatures below average once again, but a warming trend will begin tomorrow, continuing all the way into next week. High temperatures getting well up into the 90s, some spots flirting with the century mark. All right, let's get into it here. Taking a look at the almanac from yesterday, 75 degrees the afternoon high. 58 was the low temperature. That occurred just after 11 p.m. The normal high, 85. The normal low, 60. And as we take a look outside right now at 5.15 a.m., clear sky. It's a bit chilly out there. 52 degrees at Sky Harbor, but it's drier than a box of saltines. Dew point at 5. Relative humidity, 15%. The winds are calm and the barometer 29.99 inches and steady. Temperatures around the area this morning. Yeah, it's kind of cool out there. 36 at Goldfield, 37 at Fort McDowell, 40 in Santan Valley, 42 at Gilbert. Many spots are in the 40s. A few are in the 50s and temperatures kind of varying because of winds that we still have around the area. But as I mentioned, it's very dry. Look at these dew points, teens, single digits, even some below zero values. And with that dry air around, we'll have another cool night ahead tonight. The weather pattern across the country still features this long wave trough centered over the Dakotas. And we're on the back side of this feature, but still some cool air advection will take place today. And that's going to keep temperatures below average. Out ahead of this feature in the warm sector, you've got the chance of severe storms. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Here's the watch warning map. Still have blizzard warnings in effect from Williston to Bismarck and Grand Forks, North Dakota, with snow already on the ground, more snow expected, and windy weather. That's going to make for near whiteout conditions at times. And as we take a look up there right now, this is the Sorley Bridge Cam from Grand Forks, North Dakota. We've got some snow on the ground there right now, but otherwise, things don't look too bad. Visibility looks pretty good, although it is 28 degrees at present, so, you know, you can keep that. Elsewhere around the nation, yeah, we have those red flag warnings further to the south with the windy conditions and dry air over the southern and central plain states. Out ahead of this feature, wind advisories and flood watches in effect. Here's the convective outlook for today. And again, look at that. The moderate risk for severe storms around Little Rock, Memphis, Clarksville, Jackson, Tennessee, up to Evansville, Indiana. And then that enhanced risk for many of the adjacent states. And, uh, yeah, the possibility in those enhanced and moderate risks for some strong damaging straight line wind, that's really the primary concern. But we could also see a few tornadoes, maybe even some significant tornadoes. Again, this is looking to be more of a linear storm system type event, but we could get some discrete cells that develop out ahead of this. And that's why we are concerned, about, at least about the possibility of a few strong tornadoes. All right, here is the precipitation outlook. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week. I laugh because it's a blank map. You could eat a porterhouse steak off of this thing. Nothing here. And the weather pattern will stay quiet for some time. Let's talk about it in more detail as we get to the models. Have a look at it. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There's that long wave trough, negative tilts centered over the Dakotas, moving to the east. A dry northwesterly flow here, cool air advection in place. So what it means for us down at the surface today, sunny and very pleasant. Highs, low to mid 70s, a beautiful day. Tonight, clear sky, another cool night ahead. Lows, mid 40s in the cool spots, low 50s in the urban core. And then tomorrow, sunny, warmer. Here we go back toward reality. Highs, low to mid 80s. That's about where we should be for this time of year. Friday, sunny, will be near 90. Low 90s on Saturday, low to mid 90s on Sunday. Ridging continues, storm systems passing to the north of us by Monday. Mid to upper 90s are possible. And again, those hottest desert spots, southeast California, southwest Arizona, likely seeing 100 degrees. On Tuesday, high temperatures might back off a degree or two. But overall, we will still be warm and dry. Here's a week from today. This is Wednesday, the 20th. Still have ridging around. Maybe a weak wave is undercutting it, bringing some increasing high clouds, but that's about it. Temperatures, again, might fall off another degree or two, but that's it. And then as we take a look out, 10 days. This is Friday, the 22nd. Potent upper low coming down the California coast. That'd be interesting if that pans out. Southwesterly flow here, some increase in clouds. Maybe some unsettled weather way out there toward the end of next week or the following weekend. But this is 10 days out and almost certainly will change between now and then. Looking at rainfall for Phoenix coming off of the GFS Ensemble. This goes out through the 27th of April. Forget it, nothing, although the control member shows a quarter of an inch of rain, and there is a couple of members that have precipitation, but I am not expecting that this time of year. 
and temperatures off the national blend of models. There's that warming trend in full effect well up into the 90s, mid 90s at least by the time we get out there toward next week and overnight lows in the 60s. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. I mentioned steak earlier in the video. Now my stomach is growling. It's kind of distracting, actually. All right, music fans, I encourage you to check out my streaming station. It's called KMGX. We play a ton of music, have a lot of fun while doing that. It's myself and the one and only Michelle that are involved in the operation and programming of that entity. So do check it out, and I will leave a link to it in the description. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. All of your continued support it is greatly appreciated. Please be safe out there today and have yourselves an absolutely legendary Wednesday.